Hi, my name is Chris. I'm with the customer success team at Xano. And today I'm going to talk to you about the geography field type. You would use the geography field type to basically store location data. And we have several different ways that you can do that. So I'm going to quickly walk you through those. So just looking here at a very basic example table, there are six different types of geography fields that you can work with here. So uh, let me take you through those quickly. So if I click my plus sign and just go all the way down to geography, we have points, paths, and polygons. You can do a single point or a collection of points, a single path or a collection of paths, or of course, a single polygon or a collection of polygons. So I have these already populated in my table here, so I'm just gonna take you through them one by one. Let's start with point. So if I just click right in this field here, we get a nice little map that we can pan around on here. And let's say I want to drop my point right there. Hit save. And now that point is stored in our table. We can then create a point collection. So let's say I want one, let's say right around uh, Nashville here, it's close enough. Uh, and then right around uh, St. Louis. And you can, of course, zoom in and, you know, get, uh, get very precise with where you want to place those. Uh, and let's place one uh, right on top of Chicago here. You can also just head right up here to enter an address and use that to get your point exactly where you'd like it. So we have our three points on our, uh, on our map here, and then we just hit save. And now all three of those points are stored in our table. Now let's say you wanted to store a path. Uh, it's a very similar procedure to storing points. Uh, so let's just, uh, let's hop into this field here. Uh, and let's go ahead and uh, let's say I want to add a path from St. Louis to uh, Nashville. So we'll add a path here. I'll drag the first point right over there to St. Louis and the second one right over there to Nashville. Let's say I wanted to stop in Evansville in the middle of my, my journey here. So I'm just going to drag up the middle right there. And now our path is going through Evansville. Uh, but you can also see that we now have two more dots that we can play with. So let's say I wanted to go from St. Louis to uh, Indianapolis to Evansville. So I'm just gonna take this right here, drag it all the way up. So we got St. Louis to Indianapolis to Evansville to Nashville. And then of course, we're done here. So I'm just gonna click Save. And that is now stored in our table. Very similarly to a point collection, you can also do a path collection. So let's just go ahead and add a quick path here from St. Louis to uh, Nashville. And then let's add another path and let's take this one from Chicago to uh, Cincinnati. So now we have our two separate paths and we save that and those are now stored in our table. The last type that we're going to show you today is the polygon. So let's go ahead and click into this field here and uh, let's zoom into St. Louis and let's just go ahead and add a polygon here. You can, you know, make this uh, pretty much any shape that you like. This can be good for, say, grabbing a user's location and searching an area around whatever that user's location is. Uh, we see a lot of uh, a lot of our customers use the polygon feature for that. So it's a great, uh, great use case there. Uh, so we have our polygon here. We'll hit save. And then, of course, just like all the others, we can have as many polygons as we want in a polygon collection. So that's just a quick little overview of the geography field type. I, uh, I hope this helps. If you want to see some examples of what you can do with this data, definitely check out the other videos on our YouTube channel. I will link some in the description. Make sure to like and subscribe and check out the Xano community. And uh, I will, uh, I'll catch you in the next one.